to Manley's police on a high-speed chase across Jefferson County. It ends with a crash in southwest Louisville. Police say this man, 30-year-old Travis Metling, was behind the wheel. WLKY's Corey Pippen has been following this situation all day long. He has the latest from Metro Corrections, where Metling is locked up. Corey? Rick, Vicky, this was a dangerous pursuit that lasted nearly an hour, but what's unusual is Metling was actually on the phone with police while this was taking place. It's a dangerous situation that police say could have been much worse. In my opinion, this guy is a very serious offender. He had every intention of uh, running until he couldn't run anymore. I was convinced during this pursuit that he wanted this to end in a, in a, in a gunfight. But it ended in a crash in a parking lot on Dixie Highway. Police say the chase started at the intersection of Taylorsville and Petty Lane in Jefferson Town. So he was stopped just for routine traffic charges at Taylorsville and Petty Lane. The officer made, a, made him stop uh, because of traffic offenses. But the officer suspected something wasn't right because he said the passengers just did, didn't act right. They were acting nervous. So he suspected there might be more to this. And when he ran Mr. Metling, he learned that he was wanted on numerous charges. They say Metling sped off, leading police down Taylorsville and Poplar Level Road and onto the Waterson Expressway. He exited onto Dixie Highway and continued to drive through medians, parking lots, and grassy areas. During the pursuit, three passengers in the vehicle managed to escape. One told police that Metling was armed and prepared to shoot police. Police got his number and were talking to Metling during the pursuit. This conversation went on for quite some time. It was obvious to us in talking to the officers in pursuit that Mr. Metling had no intention of stopping. He came up on some stop traffic in front of him and he bailed right into the people's yard going across the driveways. He got to a point where there was a cop car uh, blocking his path, so he just hung a U and came back. Police rammed his car in the parking lot of this Arby's and ended the chase. Metling was arrested and taken to University Hospital with minor injuries. I'm just hopeful that the judge that has this guy before him takes appropriate action and tries to keep this guy off the street and holds him accountable for what he did this morning. It wasn't the officers that started this, it was Mr. Metling. That's right. Now I'm told uh, there was no weapon inside the vehicle. Several patrol cars were damaged, but I'm told none of the officers were seriously hurt. Uh, we're told the vehicle he was driving was his girlfriend's mother's vehicle. She gave him permission to use it. Live downtown, Corey Piven, WLKY News. All right, Corey, here's a little more. Travis Metling was wanted on numerous felony charges in Kentucky and Indiana, including trafficking in a controlled substance, assault, as well as domestic violence. He will face new charges in connection to today's chase. Police say that the three passengers in Metling's car are not facing charges.